first day of summer, and summer's just slapping us in the face right now. <laughs> it's hot. It's it. You wanted the heat. You got it. You got it. it. Got exactly. it. Uh -huh. Yeah, in a big way, too. I mean, three days at 90 degrees or above that. Today's the final day of that, which is very fitting. Because okay. today it's summer after all. <laughs> Tomorrow will not be as hot, and the weekend won't be as hot. So you think it'll be a record day? Uh, get I there? think near records. Yesterday yeah. we had uh, dry skies the entire day. Yep. Today there's some showers and thunderstorms oh. that may cut back on temperatures. But at some point, 94, 95, 98, there's really no difference other, other than just breaking a record for the sake of it. And I don't really think a lot of us want to break that record uh, temperature-wise. We're at 74 degrees right now, and it is windy at times uh, with breezes out of the south and west at almost 15 miles an hour. That will be your friend today to track the heat for your area. It gives you forecasts not only for your area, but also alerts to if we do have more heat alerts today, which I think there's a very well possibility. Speaking of the forecast for your area, you may need to know what it's like at the beach before you go. Other than the traffic, of course, I think we're likely to have plenty of sunshine today uh, at West Dennis with highs right around 80 degrees today and a nice beach day also for the islands too and on the Cape uh, Provincetown to Truro and Wellfleet across the city, especially today and tomorrow. Yes, it's hot, but there's also thunderstorms for the second half of the day today underneath some of that heat. Revere Beach at 92, M Street Beach up approaching 100 degrees, but we know the feels like temperatures will be well in advance of the century mark. So I know our days are few. If you are still headed to school, it's a dry and hot, hot start to the day with clouds by recess time. It's another toasty day. Temperatures near 91. Hopefully the kids are not outdoors for recess today because it is too dangerous with that heat index beyond 100 degrees. Is it dry most of the day? I think it is until about four or five in the afternoon. Here's one o'clock, maybe one or two more stray uh, clouds pushing in, but the heat heat really, really builds in and that feeds our thunderstorm threat at about 4 to 5 for the onset across uh, the Monadnocks and the Merrimack Valley at 7 p.m. That's when it's on top of Boston. So if you plan to be outdoors today, no, these are not just your run-of-the-mill showers. These are strong and will likely also contain plenty of lightning too. And I like the looks of how we start our Friday morning. Quiet, calm, a touch cooler, not totally cool tomorrow morning, but by the end of the day tomorrow, temperatures will be substantially different. For the severe weather threat today, again, most of our storms will happen across the Monadnocks into Boston and through central Massachusetts with things tapering off the further south and southeast you go. The morning commute, it's dry for everyone. Plenty of sunshine out there, although with clouds building in, rain is on the way for the afternoon and the evening. So let's take a look at your banner day in the city in Boston forecast. It's a muggy start, maybe one or two early showers hours tomorrow, but I don't think it's really wet for anyone. By 10 o'clock in the morning, temperatures are near 81. And look, increasing clouds at 1 o'clock. So things should be just fine for the parade tomorrow with scattered showers and isolated thunder on the backside of the parade. Take a look at the 10-day forecast. Today's our final day of the first alert for the heat. Summer starts today at about 4.50 in the afternoon, I believe. Uh, tomorrow, we're much cooler at 81 degrees. Back into the 70s just for one day, and then we're back into the 80s for much of the stretch of the 10-day forecast.